You don't always need a plan. Sometimes you just need to breathe, trust, let go, and see what happens. Mandy Hale. Hello, friends. In this video, we will be refinishing this beautiful all wood Kincaid dresser. Uh, all I know is I'm gonna do a wood top on it. The rest I have no idea and I really don't like this door so maybe I can do some sort of a shelving for it. But um, yeah. Also Monica Cliver, you're the winner for $10. I have made a quote on one of my videos and uh, for when I was refinishing Hutch for myself and <laughs> Unfortunately, I messed up on that quote a little bit. It was actually a toy that was saying it, not an actual quote from the movie. It was supposed to be from the movie Cars. But anyway, Monica Cliver, you were the first one to guess and comment, and I figured that you should be the winner of 10 bucks. Go ahead and get yourself a good coffee and message me so I can send it to you through Zelle, Venmo, or whatnot. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start sending this piece and tag y'all along with me. I never took you for a one night stand And I was hoping to see you again, yeah Maybe be a little more than friends You and I, yeah But lately you've been acting like a ghost And never answer when I hit your phone uh, If you wanna go Taking a quick break from sanding Get some deep gouges and grooves Let me show ya This baby's right here are pretty deep There's a couple of them so I'm gonna do the wood filler for it, the one that is uh, stained. Just let me know, why? I guess I never should've let you in so close to my body. I should've known just because you spent the night. That's After taking a closer look, I noticed that there's other parts that needed uh, quite a bit of filler. And so I just went ahead and filled everything up. But when I started sanding, I did start sanding with 100 grit sandpaper. And later on, I do go over with over 150 grit to smooth it out a little more. And of course, while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm removing some hardware. And so happy to get rid of that ugly, ugly door. <laughs> Get you out of my head I wanna take back everything I said yeah. I wish I never got in your bed That night oh. And every time somebody comes close I always seem to lose control Yeah, I lose control I guess I never should've let you in So close to my body I was accused of never shutting up And it hasn't been a very good thing my neighbor came by, spent 20 minutes talking. Where well, I could be doing work, kids are not here. I suck. <laughs> oh, but I couldn't have any I couldn't find anything else to open this. So this will do. I should have known just because you spent the night doesn't mean you want me. I should have known not to let my guard down so damn fast before even knowing where we were. I have stained with the wood with the min wax walnut color and now I'm just using soap, vinegar and water to clean out the dresser, all the dust and filth of it. Even though it is a rustic piece type of look, or yeah, farmhouse dresser type of thing, I still would like it to not have those water stain looks from the uh, pine leaving at the nuts. Guess I never should have let you in so close to my body. I should have known just because you spent the night doesn't mean you want me. I should have known not to let my guard down so damn fast before even knowing where we're really at. Guess I never should have let you in so close to my 
my body. I changed my mind about keeping the same size hardware. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up these holes. That way I can sand it tomorrow. I filled up some the other day, but I, I thought I was going to keep the same uh, size handles on this ones, but I'm not. I want to use something different. So. My body. Doing some work and being all shy. Where is he? He's specifically walking away. Oh, my tree, my peach tree is so full of peaches. <laughs> Finally. My body. All right, I've never used the kills chalk paint style paint before, so we're gonna be trying that in this color. I, this is a bold color for me. It's the beautiful baby blue type of look. It's called Blue Juniper. But I think I'm gonna add some dark wax to it to distress more. So let's see. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down All these drawers are inside They've been sanded They've been cleaned out I did not want to bore you through that since I had to do that with the dre uh, dresser frame uh, So let's go ahead tape them out and prime the babies up Deep down, and it's not a lie that I die. I can hide. Uh, uh, what this is. Uh. Hey guys, meanwhile, my husband's pre drilling the holes. I will be sealing the top of the dresser. And as you can tell, in this house, there is never. Ever, ever. I got proud. Freedom, because they're doing crazy. Right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we got to do with what we have. So let's go ahead and seal this up. Obviously, I'll be using my favorite polyurethane. Is that what you say? Polyurethane. Poly polyurethane. Right? <laughs> polyurethane. Han. Can you tell? Can you tell my people how much you love me right now? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and seal the top. Oh, by the way, you guys, wish my little girl a happy birthday. Uh, she's sleeping. I would have showed her. She looks super cute in her pink outfit, but she's four. Now I have a two-year-old, four-year-old, and almost a six-year-old. So next month I'm gonna have another birthday. <laughs> Yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes And you can tell me all of your lies I will put out all of the fire If it gets too dark oh, oh. I'm going to go ahead and distress the dresser And we'll see what else we're going to do to it Because I'm not certain yet Like I said, I have a vision in my head But I'm not certain So let's go ahead and see how it turns out I'll be close-ups of it late a little bit later but um, it looks really nice and as now I got to seal it and of course I'm using Jolie just love them but uh, their product anyway but I'm going to go ahead to tag you alone while I seal it meanwhile the drawer the last coat is drying on them and we'll be distressing them as well and after I seal it one of you youtubers uh, well youtubers my subscribers I'm not certain if you're a youtuber suggested that before putting black wax on it to use clear wax maybe that would work better so I'm going to try that never tried that before so I'm going, I usually first do that and 
the clear wax helps to spread it nicer, but I've never tried it the other way, so why not, right? It's, it's always a learning curve, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Decorating has been such a passion of mine for many years. I like to have the feel that it brings, finish, uh, you know, buttons up the space, gives it that finish that it needs, makes it super cozy. Um, it, I don't know, it just brings me peace and joy. And every time I get to stage my pieces, it's just unreal. It's, it's that joy and pure happiness that I feel. But this piece is now done and you, right here you get to finally see the details of all the distressing and wa um, wax detail that I did with the black wax and I think it turned out beautifully. Let's go ahead and quickly remind ourselves what this piece looked like before and what it's looking like now. I feel like the transformation of this piece is just incredible and you know, I, I couldn't be more happier. I mean, it turned out great and once it finds its home, I will give you guys an update. But yeah, this is the final look of this piece. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the constant comments that you guys do. Please, please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe. That would definitely help my channel grow. But I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Bye.